Hey fam, Chi Chi here, welcome back. So Brandon Blackwood decided he wanted to have a little private sale a couple of weeks back on his website. So at first I wasn't going to buy anything, but when I saw that it was about 40 to 60% off, all logic went out the window. If you're new here though, my name is Chi Chi and I talk about all things lavish but logical. So if that's your sort of thing, go ahead, subscribe, make some friends in the comment section and don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. So I have a huge box. <laughs> I haven't opened it because I have been sick. So it's just been sitting here taunting me <laughs> while I try to recover. But now your girl can the best part of unboxings are opening the box. Yeah. In addition to the already delicious sales price, if you ordered three or more things, you got an additional 10% off. So that made things a little bit more, hmm. So starting off with a pair of sunnies. I got another pair of the J sunglasses, only this time I got the peach color. I really wanted the green ones, but those sold out mad quick. But, <laughs> so <laughs> this was the next option for me. These are very, very lightweight sunnies, and I just wanted some different color frames because y'all know I'm a tortoise and black kind of girl. So I was like, Let, let's add a little bit of, a little bit of color, a little variety to my sunglass collection. But yeah, these are the J Sonnies and I thought they were cute. So she got a, another pair. So these ended up being $43.20. So nice little savings on this. One thing I would like to see with these Sunnies, Brandon, if you're watching, someone from the team, if you're watching. I know the girls, including myself, love a hard case, but hard cases are for storage at home. I would love to see a soft dust bag included with this. So, you know, when I do put it in my purse, my lenses don't get scratched up. It's just a little suggestion. You know, swish it around in your mind a little bit. You know, see how you like it. But a little um, soft case dust bag would would be well received. When I saw this bag was going to be included, I was like, "Yep, yeah. <laughs> she's coming home to more mom like Christmas." But y'all know I rave about this bag. I don't know what all that was. I think one of my silica pads just broke but I absolutely love 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 the Sophia bag this is one of my favorite silhouettes that he produces and I always admired this blue croc Ugh. just something about this bag just it does something to me yep a silica pad broke oh no kitty Please don't eat the silica. Thank you, management. If you're unfamiliar with this bag, it is a pit. I do have a whole review on this, so I'm not gonna go too far into depth with this one. But, oh yeah, this is this is the one that broke. All right, make, I gotta make sure I vacuum in here. But I wanted to add this to my collection, this color to my collection. I already have the green one, and this one is, Beautiful. Of course, silver hardware. Not a true lover of silver, but with this color, it works. I remember somebody has a YouTube video where they had this, and I would just look at it, and I'm like, oh, I should have gotten the blue. But your girl saved money, so she loves that. This ended up being $135, so yeah i'm so happy that i have another sophia this is like hands down top three favorite bags from 
Brandon Blackwood because this one, I just, I just, I just love it. I know KW Shops, she uh, finally purchased this bag after she saw my review, she was just convinced. And I believe she says she loves it as well. So <laughs> I'm happy that, um, yeah, I got my hands on a second one and I'm just happy. I'm happy because I love this bag and I'm happy that y'all love this bag. Let's show a bag that I don't have in my collection. I wanted a white bag for the summer. I've been telling you guys that. I'm still a little unsure about this. I ain't even gonna front, but I had saw a YouTube video with someone wearing this and I was like, that does look really nice. So this is the mini Portmore bag. Something very, very small, very tiny, and very, very different. This, I wanted something, again, a little bit smaller, something I could just throw a little bit of, you know, things into here. The one thing I was really worried about this bag is whether or not my phone would fit, and shit, it does not. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, my phone doesn't fit in here. But either way, I thought it was a cute bag. I didn't wanna spend a ton of money on a white bag. Although, I gotta say, I have found another brand that does have a white bag that I'm really, really in love with. Had I saw the, that bag before I saw this one, I probably would not have gotten it. But it, it is a nice bag. It's a different silhouette, you know? Um, it does come with a long strap and I believe it is adjustable and then inside we have a zippered compartment let's see how deep it is though it is, it's not too deep will I actually keep it um, I don't know now that I have it in hand I think I want something maybe a little bit different so this I don't know this might actually go to like my niece or my uh, sister-in-law it's like I needed to see it in person and why not do it now I thought this was an actual functioning pocket but it's not so it would have been nice if this was a pocket but it's a cute cute little bag this was the most expensive bag that I purchased though this came in at 148 so she spends a, a pretty penny on it. But um, yeah, I think um, we'll see how I feel about it. We'll see how I feel. And I, I was just happy that it was real leather. Flat L. Got another box. So I do have a theory on why he had this private sale. So usually one of two things is going to happen. One being that some things are gonna be discontinued. So, I was like, mm, if something's gonna be discontinued, it's probably be like the Portmore bag. I can see that being discontinued. The second reason why I think this wholesale happened is because we're gonna get some changes. Changes in hardware, changes in you know materials and things like that. I do see Brandon putting in a little bit more work into the details of it all. You know, getting Brandon Blackwood hardware, um, getting stamps, foil stamps. So I do see little upgrades to the brand. So in order to make everything uniform across the board, you gotta get rid of some of this old stock. I can tell just from the dust bag that this is a old stock. <laughs> so just to bring all the stock up to date, yeah. I. I know, I be knowing these ain't even the new boxes. But this should be no surprise. This is again, one of my top three favorite silhouette bags that Brandon produces. And I was like, let's get another one. And she got the sill bag in the blue nylon. Oh, look at me. It's just such an easy bag to wear and just not even think about. So I, I just really love this bag. I have a whole review on this and it's still one of my favorite bags to wear. I have one right there and 
you can see a tiny little sparkly something right here. So I have two of the bags. Oh, I saw that this was up there for grabs and I was like, she's grabbing it, okay? I really wanted this bag in black. Either I was a little too late to the party and people already took it or he didn't put it up there. But the sill bag, honey, She's, she she really scored with this one. So this one came out to $81. Yes. I can see what updates he can make with this bag because this tassel, I love the tassel aspect, the pull, yes. But I always felt like this was just a little undone for my liking. So I would either like a metal tassel with Brandon Blackwood written on it, or this to be cleaned up. Because, no, we're, we're not doing that. And y'all know I've always been very critical of Brandon's stuff. Even though I don't like criticizing, critiquing someone's art. Like this is his art, this is what he's done, you know, and you put so much hard work into it and then someone like me comes along and says i don't like it <laughs> you know but i i appreciate the fact that you know he has taken a lot of things that we all have said on off of youtube or instagram and he's taken it into consideration and we have seen changes we've seen changes to the dust bag we don't love our bags being wrapped up like that tightly so he's done away with that the boxes have gotten a lot better the cars are a lot cleaner so he definitely hears the feedback so that's why i still say what i'm going to say because ultimately if i'm staying quiet the brand can't be better okay so um yeah i i I'm fully happy to critique and give my one twos especially as a consumer y'all know i'm a consumer at heart so I know how I feel when I'm wearing the bags and what, you know, is bothersome and what could be better. So why not listen to your customers, you know? And clearly I have a ton of Brandon Blackwood. I probably have the best Brandon Blackwood collection here on YouTube, to be honest. I think I do. I'm crowning myself that, but I did get this blue a nylon. I think it's really fun. Blue is my favorite color, so yeah, I was happy to add this one to the collection. And finally, we have something that I was just like, you know what, let, let, let's try it out. <laughs> I'm not a pink girl, but $81, I could be a pink girl. But um, I'm not really 100% sure. I feel like I'm never going to be a pink girl. Like, I do like it. This is more of a pink, blue base pink, which I do like is definitely deeper than what I thought it would be. But I don't know. Maybe y'all might want a sill bag. Maybe I should do a giveaway. Who knows? I rave about this bag and it's just such a good bag for the summertime. You wanna be out here in these streets looking cute. So yeah, I think I might give this away. Let me know in the comments whether or not I should give this bag away, but that is everything that I picked up from the private sale. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Check out some of my other Brandon Blackwood unboxings and I will catch you in the next one. Bye guys.